We've got the Dark Elixir mode. And I think the best deck is going to be the Evolved Mortar. I'm going to use Code OJ and grab the Tower Skin. That's actually a nice frame. Some of these are so underwhelming. I think they should only have banners that actually have good artwork. I hate that it goes up 50 gems every time. There's no incentive to buy it. We're going to get the Diamond Pass. Because most importantly, it comes with two shards. I'm just going to use the next four shards on here. Oh, my precious. Yes. What the? I don't know what that Dark Elixir stuff does, and I'm too scared to ask. Oh, God. The evolved mortar does nothing. But it's rage though, right? Did it just attack fast? Oh, God. Does it just attack faster? Is it just rage? Oh, my God. Wait, Ice Spirit's going to work really well with that. This is so cycly. It's so hard to deal with Mega Knight. Oh, God. Earthquake is not enough. Crap. Let's try this one. So basically, just ignore the Dark Elixir Circles. Oh, my God. That's going to be so much. Or none. <laughs> No, after all of those cards. I don't want to talk about that. No. No. Oh my god. The Vault Roll Giant kind of counters me. But that's fine. Because I have an Evolved Mortar. All of that Evolved Mortar work for nothing. We're getting... We're getting through. Oh, jeez. Did I just firecracker into Monk? Yes, yes, I did. I feel like... It can't do nothing. With the bait. Mortar bait. I like this. <laughs> oh. That's actually looking real good. I don't think they're going to activate the monk in time. Oh, boy. So they take more damage and they attack faster. I think they give up. Please give up. I've got a tum tum ache and it hurts to play right now. I'm just playing a cycle mortar. <laughs> I think Hogquake is the play. Holy crap, that monk melted. Whatever they have, it's not a building. Excellent. Not so excellent. Can't activate the ability on there. Nice. Oh my god, the mortar shot hit that. Oh my god. Oh they no no they didn't. Oh 
Oh, they just gave me insane value. Pog gets one hit. That's perfect. I just have to play this normally, not like Evolved. Unless it's Evolved, then you put a Hog Rider in front so it tanks with the Goblins. Oh my- Oh! Okay, those Wall Breakers. Do I need to be worried about that Miner? Yeah, that works out. Alright, my next one is an Evolved Mortar. I gotta make it count. But you know what? We're, we're just gonna go in. Oh, that sucked. <clears throat> I spent all game building that Evolved Mortar. Oh, that's the beauty. Evolved Mortar, they have nothing for this. And the Hog Rider's tanking. It's like a goblin barrel every time. It just takes a while. But once you're involved... Whew. Are they going in for the push? Elixir Golem? Yeah. Get rid of that egg. And make sure that everything that they've done is for a waste. Because <laughs> that mortar did so much damage on the other side and it's not even evolved yet. Okay, they're not going to suspect an evolved mortar on the right side. Uh, uh, no, you know what? It's... it's it... Oh, I beat them without even evolving my mortar. Then you get to see true greatness. The worst part about these shards is that it just gives you 2,000 common cards. That's horrible. It's like they're so stingy in the wild shards. Let's try Path of Legends with an involved mortar. What? I just want an involved mortar. All right. We gotta deal with this somehow. Holy crap. We dealt with it. Oh no, again. What's their minion horde? Yeah, if I go in the other lane, or not? No. <laughs> We've got to surround the sparking. We're good. I'll I'll take that. Evolved cards kind of broke the game. <laughs> Everyone's using evolved stuff. <laughs> 